Rachel Allen with Breakout Studios. One of the requests, we have more requests coming in. Day by day, we have people saying, what are the best tips, the best training techniques, what can I be doing? So we're gonna go over some arms, some real basics. Uh, for a lot of women, we always say, how do I get the triceps in shape? Well, we always have to balance it with the biceps. So we like to train bicep and tricep together. So I'm gonna go over three movements for the bicep and three movements for the tricep, things that you can do at home. I always say, back in the day, I couldn't afford weights. I literally would use gallons of water or you can use canned foods, you can use whatever's in the house, including that fabulous band that I just used in my last video. So making sure that you just have some kind of basic element that will create a little bit of resistance within the muscle structure and it's about repetition of course. I always say train to failure, we like to train to failure because that's where growth happens, right? The body has to repair itself. So we like to get it as fatigued as possible and then the body does what it knows to do, which is heal, repair, strengthen. So we're gonna go bu some bicep curls, but we're gonna do it a little differently. So what I like to do is make sure you have kind of a moderate weight. You wanna make sure the body is warm also, and you have the freedom to be doing these exercises. We wanna make sure that there's no injuries or a predisposition for injuries as we're growing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with bicep curls, but we're gonna go half ups first, then half downs because we like to fatigue. And most women, when we start aging, God bless our bodies, tend to get a little bit of a droop here. So we're gonna start with the lower half, which helps strengthen that lower half, which is the muscle segment that wraps around the elbow. So we're gonna start right here with a nice little half curl up to half curl down. You can do this three, I've seen people go as high as five to seven reps or sets of, of, of series, but you don't really need to do that many. I think if you go with a heavier weight, um, load it as much as you can within, within your ability to lift the weight, of course, to go three good clean sets of at least eight in the heaviest amount of weight that you can possibly lift without injury or risk of injury is really where you want to be. So we're going to go just the, from the bottom being lengthened, extended into that right where the elbow bends. That's where that bicep is going to stop on the first range of motion. Then we're going to go from top to mid. So you're going to start at the top of your shoulder, right where your shoulders are and drop it down to the mid. So we go from top to bottom on the second range. So what you're gonna to start to notice is that lowest part of your bicep that wraps around the elbow starts feeling a little tired because you're kind of doubling it up. But what we like is the shape that it gives us, right? That hip trophy that we're looking for. And so we're gonna go ahead and just keep going here. Like I said, if you go three sets of eight, nice and clean, and then you're gonna go full range of motion all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. Take it all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. And if you like a little bit of rotation on it, take those weights, face them right towards your thighs. So as you curl up, you have a longer stretch, a longer rotation, which allows a little bit of lengthening as well. So we like those long lean muscles too, right? So we're gonna curl it up and up and up. Nice. So once we're done with our three sets of eights, we're gonna move on to another little group that I like to call little muscle bicep confusion here. So we're gonna take it like we're gonna do a hammer curl. So you're gonna bring the weights like we ended with the last series where our palms are facing our thighs, the weights are in the hammer position where our thumb, thumbs are at the very top of that weight, kind of offset. You're gonna hammer curl that weight up, you're gonna flip the palms up, you're gonna rotate those shoulders a little bit, take the arms out a little bit, and then lift right up, almost like an uppercut, if you will, but out to the sides. It really activates that bicep muscle at the top of it, at the top of the head, which is really nice. And you're gonna flip it back, bring it back to midline and down. So we're gonna do a few of those as well. If you think of those three sets of eight, once again, at the weight that really kind of maximizes or pushes you, that's what we like. Otherwise, just to begin, you can go ahead and start with a lighter weight and get up to that 12 to 15 in terms of count and numbers. So we're gonna flip, flip it, Flip back and down, bring it up, open, press it up, and flip it back, and bring it down. So we're gonna hit our eight, nice. Making sure you're exhaling on that extension and where we're actually at that maximum contraction is really where we want to expel most of the air, bringing ourselves back, which allows us to inhale on the down to re-oxygenate that muscle for its next lift, okay? Nice, let's go ahead and wrap this one out. Beautiful. So we've got our half ups, we've got our half downs, we have our full rotation, we have our hammer curl to open, to extend, 
to neutral and back. So we're gonna go into some tricep next. Triceps are one of those muscles where everyone always says, how am I gonna get that back in shape? Can I bring those back in shape? So the triceps, of course, are, are women like to say the wings, right? And so uh, we like to make sure that we train these often enough. I'm one of those people I like to train, I pretty much train every day something because I believe, uh, A, the body can handle it, the body knows how to repair itself, and B, as long as you're not over lifting or lifting too heavily, you can really do something every day to keep the muscle shaped. Because once again, we're always looking for the hip trophy, which is a swelling within that muscle that gives it a nice full look. So we're gonna start, of course, with a lighter weight. We're gonna start with what we call a collarbone press, which means you want your face out of the way, most importantly. You're actually gonna have your nose in that elbow groove. So right where that, the arm folds is where you want to place that nose, the face out of the way. So that as I pre press that weight into extension, I'm able to do it without my face being hit, of course, right? Similar to like a skull pressure. <laughs> so you want to think of tapping or just gently finding that place on that collarbone, and you're going to press that weight straight up, which means that my tricep is active. And if you can, rather than letting the muscle go to full rest position in either one of the locations, keep that muscle active. Don't necessarily straighten that arm all the way. Don't let it rest here either. Just kind of keep it firing, keep it moving. We've got, once again, those three sets of eight clean, unless you want to go lighter weight, higher rep, which means you're going to hit that 12 to 15 with that lighter rep. So I'm going to go eight. So I'm going to hit a couple more here, and then I'm going to swap sides. You always want to hit both sides, of course, making sure you have a nice balanced body. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press it up. So once again, you're gonna find that collarbone, make sure you have a nice extension here. You're gonna exhale on that extension, making sure that you get the maximum contraction within that muscle segment. So we've got the nice inhale, we've got our exhale, inhale and exhale, keeping that muscle nice and active and really squeeze at the top. And if you can hang at the top for a moment before you just let it fall away, that's even more yum yum. Okay, so high to low, squeeze it up. Nice, get a couple more here. And then we're gonna hit another couple exercises, which I like, which I have found. Tricep kickbacks, everyone's used to the traditional tricep kickbacks. Well, we're gonna kick it up a notch. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to, I like a nice straight arm, make sure you have that nice flat back, right? So everything is nice and compressed. Just because the body goes forward, you always hear me say the belly doesn't go forward, right? So we want that nice arm extension. So as my arm, as I'm pressing it back and I'm squeezing, I'm either hitting the lateral or the medial head of that tricep which gives us a nice definition. So we're gonna press back first with my palm facing back. Then I'm gonna to come to that front and I'm gonna rotate that palm forward and I'm gonna squeeze it back, okay? So you'll definitely tell the difference between the medial or the lateral head. So you're gonna definitely squeeze back. Once again, that eight, if you think about eight, nice and clean, challenging yourself with the weight, make sure you're breathing, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling and inhaling, nice and easy. And once again, the body wants to create a little bit of a momentum, right? So sometimes we'll start swinging the weight. We really want to make sure that the arm is all that's moving that weight from front to back. So I'm going to get one more in here. Nice. And then we'll flip it around. So once again, palm is facing back. I'm going to press that weight right on back. I'm going to take it forward and flip it forward and squeeze it up. So we've got that nice little flip here going. Inhaling and exhaling. I like to exhale against as I contract that muscle and I inhale down, reoxygenate that muscle. So we're going to press, checking the belly, making sure my weight is in the front. Nice. And like I said, these are things, I don't know if I necessarily do the same exercises every day, but I definitely hit the body between the multiple, there's so many things that can be done with the body every day that allow us to feel stronger. That sexy confidence of not everything is jiggling when I move, right? Let's go ahead and get one more in. Nice. Last little tricep thing. This was introduced to me a long time ago and I love it to this day. So we're gonna do actually a, tri a tricep rise, a lift. So it's side lying actually. So from this posture, what we wanna make sure, if you want a, lo a longer lever, which means my legs are lo uh, not bent, so I've got my legs nice and straight, if I need a shorter lever, I can definitely bring my knees in for a little bit of additional support. But I'm gonna lay on my side, I'm gonna take my, the arm that's traditionally gonna be under, I'm gonna place that hand right on my shoulder. 
So that as I am pushing away with the hand that's in the front, my tricep becomes active. So we can go eight, nice and easy, making sure that that core is nice and solid, which means my obliques, everything is nice and taut, assisting that lift in that arm. The more I can use the full body in terms of support, the true core from shoulder to knee, that allows me to really get a deeper range, a lighter lift and greater mobility. We get one more in here, press it up. Then we swap it out to the other side. So same thing, hand that's underneath is gonna rest right on that shoulder. So that as I come up, and this one I'm gonna do with my, my legs lengthened so you can see the difference. I'm still doing a nice little chuck and I'm still pushing up. Side is, everything is active within my core. So I get that full stretch to full press. Stretch to press. Exhaling on that up, pushing away, using the center of that hand. So this is also a good workout to do, like when we talk about doing push-ups, this is another complimentary movement. To go from a push-up into a side-lying tricep press, always a good one for the arms. I'm gonna get two more here, press it up, press it up. And with that, got some great arm movements there, and feel free to use them. Use light weights, add weights, mix it up, but there's something you can work on every day to strengthen that body. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.